The fragrance market is extremely saturated these days. It feels like every other day there is a brand new release for us to try, test out, sample, purchase, love, hate, like and today is no different in this video we'll be discussing designer fragrances that were recently released fragrances that caught my attention and had me clapping like yes finally something interesting to talk about these fragrances should absolutely be on your radar and there is one that you definitely need in your fragrance collection so if you want to hear what these fragrances are make sure you keep watching Tip Benson here, welcome back to my channel. Thank God the summer is finally over. Well, not officially, but almost over. And designers are releasing their fall fragrances. Thank you, Lord. I've actually had them for a month insider but before i brought them to the channel i wanted to test them try them out see if they were worth talking about and now i'm finally ready to share them with you maison margella replica whispers in the library Issa Laurent libre and tom ford's metallic i also broke them down into categories which i think you'll appreciate most unique most wearable and most likable. So before we dive too deep into this video, I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsors of this video, Sephora. I love you forever, always have, always will. Many of you ask me, Tiff, where should I purchase my fragrances online or in store? And I always recommend, especially if you're getting designer fragrances, go to Sephora first. They give you samples and they're not cheap with it. They're an excellent place to shop for fragrance and I highly recommend you shop there first. So stop in, get a sample, test it out, try it out, let me know what you think. And also make sure that you visit them online because there are a ton of new fall fragrances out there, so much so that I can't put them all in one video because it would be a movie. Definitely check them out on Sephora.com. I will leave a link in the description and let's jump right into the video. Hit that like button and let me know what is your scent of the day? What have you been wearing since the weather has been getting cooler? I am so curious. My scent of the day is one of the fragrances that I will mention here in this video. Take a guess and see what it is. I'll check it out in the comments. I got the PR packaging, just saying. I don't think the bottles actually come in this. It is Maison Margiela's Whispers in the Library. Let me open it up so you can see. Ooh. Ooh, I'm such a kid. Here is the bottle presentation. Really nice, minimalist, something that you would expect to see from Maison Margiela. Fragrance family here is warm and spicy. The scent type is a woody spicy scent. Predominant notes here are pepper essence, tonka bean absolute, and cedar wood. I actually went to the launch party here for this fragrance in New York. You kind of never know what to expect for a new release. You hear people buzzing about the fragrance, but again, you don't know what to expect until you actually try it. Tried the fragrance that night and I was like, wow, this is gonna do well. It's really likable. And a month later, almost a couple of weeks later, I still feel the same way. Maison Margiela really knows its customers. The whole brand is built around as it says, reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods, thereby making the fragrances really likable because you wouldn't replicate a scent that is like undesirable. You know what I mean? The most likable scent on this countdown, it's a good one. I think you'll love it if you give it a try. Can we talk about the most wearable scent? Can you tell I like it already? <laughs> it is Yves Saint Laurent's Libre. Let's take a look at the bottle because this is probably one of the most beautiful bottles released this year. And it features that stunning YSL logo on the bottle. Like it does not get much better than this. According to Sephora's site, it says that the fragrance family here is a floral scent type, warm floral. Keynotes here are lavender essence, orange blossom, musk accord. Libre means freedom in French. So this is YSL's interpretation of a freedom scent. Where did I spray before? Mm, okay, so I'll spray it right here. This, my loves, is my scent of the day, the most wearable scent I'm featuring in this video. Oh, and I just love it so much. 
I do. This one is great. This is something that can be worn dressed up, dressed down. It's perfect for the fall weather and I could really see this being worn all year round to be quite honest. Sephora defines it as a floral scent but for me I kind of feel like it is a oriental fougere. It has that warm woody vanillic base in the dry down but in the top notes you have that balm of aromatic lavender essence. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful to wear on skin. Right now, fougeres are having a moment and also fragrances that have stunning packaging are having a moment and this fragrance has it all. Please try this one out. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna just spray it again because why not? It's my scent of the day and I smell gorgeous. So last but certainly not least is the Tom Ford Beauty, which we can barely get it into focus because it is so reflective, metallic. Comes in this beautiful metallic, metallic box. Iconic Tom Ford presentation. That's what we would expect from Tom Ford. Bottle is also metallic, which is so beautiful right on trend it's right on time tom ford just knows how to oh my god set the trends make the trends he is just too brilliant for his own good so tom ford metallique is a floral fragrance scent type is a powdery floral predominant notes here are pink peppercorn heliotrope and balsam wow Wow, is all I can say. Metallic looks like it's being marketed towards women, but I would say men don't be afraid to try it. It is gender neutral. The scent is magical. It is magical. It is like the perfect mix of sharp aldehydes and sensual creamy vanilla. It also has this perfect duality of old school and new school. Sometimes you can smell this and it smells super sharp, metallic-y and modern. And then other times when you're wearing this, it just smells like a floral vintage fragrance that you would catch someone wearing in like the 1920s. It's a timeless beauty and I really do consider it a work of art. Tom Ford is always on point, never missing a beat. I'm going to spray it on right here. The beauty of this fragrance is unmatched. In my opinion, I think it is the best release so far of 2019. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you found something helpful in this video, please hit that like button and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I have two channels here on YouTube, my fragrance channel and my beauty channel. So I will leave a link in the description for you to subscribe now. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every time your girl posts a video here on YouTube. And you can also follow me on Instagram. That is where I am when I'm not here on YouTube, at Tiffinson on the gram. Love you forever. Watch what's up next and I'll catch you in the next one.